Hey everybody, it's Party Elite with another episode of The Dwarves, where we have just avenged the murder in cold blood of a poor, unfortunate dwarf merchant. Uh, killed the mercenaries that did it. Apparently, there is a bounty out for dwarf skulls, uh, prepared in a very specific way, so I imagine it's got something to do with some weird magical ceremony, perhaps. But, I... Well, that was, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to click there. Ah. <sighs> Alright, back to Clintal. I want to try and check some of these, uh, like this merchant out, this town out, maybe here as well at Porista, uh, because I need some healing potions. Damn it, no, don't go away from me, come towards me. Okay, well, uh, Lamtasar. Uh, let's check. I just, I don't want to waste time. I need to get to Lot Yonin, just as a reminder. We're trying to get back home to Lot Yonin to tell him about what happened up here um, with the parish land sort of pouring forth. So that's, you know, at least somewhat pressing. But if I die on the way there, let's the see what these guys have. Certainly lives up see to what these name. guys have. You arrive as the sun set. There's a shop in the village. Oh crap! And I through the window, as well as some everyday objects and food, you also spy a shelf. Of books. Uh, okay. Well, he says a shop. Maybe a health small potions. Bell rings as you enter the shop. I don't care about the books. The twins look around, but seem rather disinterested, until they discover a couple of gemstones on display. On the wall to your left is the bookshelf you saw through the window. It's quite unusual mm. for a village shop to sell okay. books. Okay. Maybe I do care about books. Okay, sh show me what you have for sale. I don't want it to close the conversation off, so you know, I'll, I'll look at the bookcase. You stroll towards the bookshelf and read some of the titles written on the spines of the books. You know many of the works from Lot Yonan's library. All right. Oh, boy, Fracas, look, dear brother. The scholar really is looking at books. It's an interesting selection, Boindil. <laughs> I could make some recommendations for you. Boindil throws his arm <laughs> around your shoulder and pulls you slowly away from the bookshelf. What if someone sees you? Here, this is more our kind of thing. You follow him reluctantly, and are shown the selection of gemstones. Uh, okay, that's it. All right, show me what you have for sale. Food. There we go. Okay, good. Healing potion, elixir of strength. Yeah, why not? Take a little bit of everything. I don't need the food so much. I've got 72. Uh, let's take a little bit, actually. Just a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Wait. Why? Oh, I guess there's a maximum cap. Alright. Confirm and continue. Let's continue on our way. So now let's hit this little tower porista here. Maybe Boy get some more health potions. Next to you in silence. Now and then, he looks at you from the side. And you really do <laughs> like books? Yeah, I'm curious. And you can find many answers in books. Won't you have found all the answers at some point? He's adorable. Quite the contrary. The more books you read, the more questions you ask. Ain't that the truth? Ah, I knew it. Oh, just a waste of time. <laughs> you reach He's maybe my favorite. Straight to the seat of the Council of Magi. A worried and grim-looking guard bars your way. Sorry, we are not to let anyone into the palace. The guard looks around mm. nervously. Lightning bolts. A couple of days ago, not like in a storm, oh. but in all the colors of the rainbow. On the next day, we were told that the Magi had all departed again, and Master Nudin was not to be disturbed. No one has been Damn. heard in the palace since then. Is that not because of... Us. The report of lightning bolts doesn't particularly worry you. On the contrary. No. If the Magi have traveled back to their kingdoms, it can only mean that they were able to reinforce the barrier. You are eager to hear Lot Yonan's account in the vaults. Is that because I opened the bag? Like, I was somewhere here, I forget where, and I opened the bag, and it, like, shot up light, like fireworks, basically. So I wonder if that's what's happening there. Um, I want some more, like, named cities. Oh, you know what? I guess they don't all have to be named. I thought this one was named. That's why I went there in the first place. But I guess not. Or do you just see the name as you get closer? All right, to Stonebrook. All right, I might actually intercept this merchant depending on where he goes. 
Yes. Yes. Ah, so we meet again, dear dwarf. Hey, he remembers. Dunzil, wasn't it? Interested in buying something? You bet, buddy. Give me some healing potions, please. God damn it. What a waste of time. Ah. You say goodbye to the traders and continue your journey. Great, now I have to go this long way around. Oh, what a fool I am. Oakstead, come on. Come on, no. Alright, we'll hit this one last town, Scalebrook, see if they have anything on, on offer. Way back to Scalebrook, Ooh. you are greeted by the villagers as Scalebrook Saviors. Damn right. And taken to the village elder. He thanks you once again in the name of Scalebrook and offers to put you up for the night. You enjoy a rich <laughs> stew and spend the night in a freshly made bed in an empty house. There are quite a few of those since the orcs <laughs> Yep. The next morning, you head off again, refreshed. I'm glad they don't seem to remember that a couple of those people were killed by uh, the dwarfs that were helping, but, you know, we can keep that on the down low. Nothing to worry about. Just keep on moving. All right. We're almost there. All right. Come on. Merchants. Once you reach the top of the hill above Goodwater, you can see what is left of the village. Oh well. The sea of red roof tiles has given way to a forest of burnt black ruins. Shattered wooden planks and bent iron bars are all that is left of the gate. I couldn't save them. Even the reinforced gate. Wow. What's well, dark? Uh, I saw this pulse. I even heard the writing sound. I thought it would update with something. Damn, that's a little depressing. I thought I would have made a difference there. Um. All right, let's just go here. Hopefully, there's not a you fight. You see a light through the trees, some way from the path. It inevitably brings to mind <laughs> your encounter with the woodcutters. You tell the dwarves about your encounter with the woodcutters and how they grilled you. Yeah. Not exactly your proudest moment. Ah, I'll deal with them. <laughs> they won't make the mistake of taking on a dwarf again. Humans are not our enemies, Boindil. I don't know. I'm starting to feel like they are. Uh, thinking about it, they do deserve it. Or beating up people is not part of our mission. Let's see. I like Boindale more. Like, Boindale is more pragmatic. I'm trying to figure out who I want to have a better relationship with. You know what? I'm going to say they deserve it. I can't remember the conversation fully, but I'm going to say they deserve it. Thinking about it, they do deserve it. Boindale grins widely. And before oh, Boindale can stop him, he stomps off. I'm a terrible you dwarf. You in your camp and think about the woodcutter's roast that you had for dinner. <laughs> The rabbit was the best thing you've eaten in a long time. Oh god. It tasted I hope it didn't, of I hope it didn't kill them. <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible dwarf. Why are the Magus's vaults here in the middle of nowhere? And mm. why does the Lord of Yonandar live in a vault and not in a castle? It's to do with the magical fields that spread out under Girdlegard. So the five magical realms are found where the fields are at their strongest. And that's why he lives in the vaults? To be closer to the underground magic? No, it's uh, more to do with security. Mm. 200 students of magic and well, a source of almost unlimited magical energy. The Magus thought that an underground vault was a more suitable place to train than Master Nudin's tower in the middle of Parista. Interesting. So Master Nudin again, if I'm not yeah, I'm pretty sure Master Nudin was the uh the guy that looked like he was possessed by a goddamn demon, uh, with the boils and gout and whatnot going on. You know, Daddy Nurgle. Um or granddaddy Nurgle, I guess. So very reminiscent of uh of another fantasy lore where an evil wizard sits atop a tower. Interesting. Ooh, it's raining on the map. Love this map. Okay, looks like we're getting safely home. I don't like it here. All this hocus pocus is bad news. Us dwarves know that and keep well away, just as Vracus commanded. <laughs> I hope you know that too. 
I cannot perform magic, and I've never attempted to. Nevertheless, please show respect. Remember that it was not Yonan who took me in and saved me. Now then, yeah. it would seem that the tongue of the learned one becomes somewhat haughtier, <laughs> and his sentences <laughs> doth wind most strangely as we verily approach the vaults. <laughs> You can't help but grin guiltily. With a beseeching glance at the twins, you step into the area in front of the vaults. Oh. Seeing no one there you might greet, you and your companions enter oh, your no. old home. Oh no, it can only have gone badly. Gate. We're all gonna die, it's gonna be a bunch of orcs. Or maybe they hate me, maybe they think I've been up to something evil. Who the hell built this tunnel? Boendal examines the crumbling roof with a mixture <laughs> of disbelief and indignation. Be quiet. I want to surprise them. Is that such a good idea? What if we give your master such a shock <laughs> that he casts a spell on us? I don't want to be turned into a mouse or, or a bar of soap. <laughs> it is unusually quiet in the vaults, but the smell oh, of no. dinner is in the air. You imagine Frala looking up at you from her cooking pot in the kitchen no. and smiling. No. Ah, there's boiled and roasted meat for dinner. Come on. Oh, no. That's no reason to go and get ourselves turned into something weird. We'll stay here until you're finished with your little game. Like, uh, very specific wording there. The meats. Can I zoom out? I can. Okay. Ah, uh, there doesn't seem to be any people. Oh, boy. All right, well, let's check the kitchen out first. Yeah, this place has been emptied out. Look at dinner. Is it people? Oh my god, it's people, isn't it? Lumps of meat. Oh my god, it's people. Here on the brown bubbling surface of the soup before sinking back down out oh, of sight. Oh no. The hearty smell makes your mouth water. Oh my god, it's people. God damn it. A human foot. Your stomach turns and you have to fight hard against the impulse to run out of the kitchen screaming. They've killed them. They've killed them all. No, the baby. No. The cradle's empty. Your stomach tightens. You refuse to believe it, but you can't help thinking of the soup again. No. Oh. It can't be true. Speaking it out loud helps, but it doesn't get rid of the bad feeling completely. Yeah, maybe this is darker than the elf being eaten. I don't know, an elf? Someone being eaten from the neck down by a horse and still being alive. That's... It's hard to top that. Okay, nothing to see here. Alright, Lot Yonin. He's been killed, hasn't he? Oh, man. Or he'd teleport himself away to safety, I guess. Ooh. Super stealthy. Go, 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 go. Damn it. Uh, another one. Whoa, whoa, hey. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Don't even think of using magic, or I'll lodge this pretty piece of steel in your brain. It takes a Famulus a few seconds to comprehend the situation he suddenly found himself in. He seems to weigh up his options for a moment before he breathes out and the tension leaves his body. <laughs> or, or, all right, I won't use magic. I'll kill him anyway, Jesus. Um, okay. Ooh, lots of questions. Where is Lot Yonan? Where is he? Nodon killed him. Oh, he man. killed all of them in Parista. There's no one left Knew in Girdlegard who can take on the last Magus. You're saying that someone took on all six of the Magi at once and defeated them? Ridiculous. Five Magi. My master Nudin is Nodon the Doublefold. Saw the that Lord coming. of the Perished Land and soon to be Lord of Girdlegard. He killed the masters and the apprentices followed soon <sighs> after. They're all gone, and he changed the magic field so that only we can use them. An icy hand grabs your heart. It's impossible mm. that there's only a single Magus left, and he's not fighting against, but for the Perish Land. Well, I'm not surprised that guy's a bad guy. You, we all saw how he looked. Oh, I don't want to ask that question. Who are you, and what are you doing Why here? Why are you snooping around in Lot Yonin's study? What are you looking for? 
I'm looking for artifacts that Lot Yonan, when he was in Parista, claimed he had forgotten and left in a cupboard. And oh. for the box that was stolen from Greenglade. I'm guessing you're the dwarves that stole the books. What does your master want with the artifacts and the books? I don't know. He commands, we obey. He, <laughs> he's going to be very mm. displeased. I did find a bag in the cupboard, but it didn't contain the right objects. All right. All right. What happened here? Where is everyone? I know the answer For to that while, question. The Famulus seems to be playing with the idea of being stubborn. Bowendal pushes a little harder on the end of the crow's beak, and the tip penetrates the skin. Blood seeps out. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, they're, oh, they're, they're gone! Dead! A school full of magi destroyed without any signs of struggle? Lies! The facts seem stacked against it, but you cling on to this faint hope. Lot Yonan's Famuli were already in Parista. All right. There are only novices left. We made easy work of them. The Elphar, Syntheras, he insisted on being part of the raid after he found out that you grew up here. He opened the gates and killed most of those here before they even knew what was happening. In your mind's eye, you see a pale face appearing from the darkness. You saw what Elphar are capable of in Greenglade. You push the thought to the back of your mind and try to keep a clear head. I've had enough of your lies. They're alive. Lot Yonan escaped and has gathered his apprentices, Frala, and the others around him to wow. fight against Nodon. We just have to find them. <laughs> a little naive. <laughs> the war was over before you even noticed it had begun. Nodon cannot be stopped. He is on his way here and will just... Blah, blah. We will leave immediately. This news is of great importance to the Council of Dwarves. I'm not going anywhere. I have to find my friends and Come I... on, man. Orcs! Lots oh, of... crap. Didn't see that coming. All right. Um, We have one now. Excellent. We're all healed up, too. Who gets hurt more? I feel like Boeing Deal is more easily hurt, but he's able to jump out of a situation if I need him to. Hmm. You know, let's give it to Tung Dil. And Bowen Dil can get the Talisman of Initiative? Yeah, that way he can jump out more often. Okay. That should work out. Alright. Let's see. What have we got here? What is it? Um Of course! Huh? On my way! Kinda like On my way. Position ourselves. Oh wow, that is a lot of them. Okay. What is it? Bowen Dal going there. Tung Dil over here. Or actually, no. Huh? Bowendal, I want you to pop up over oh, here. Yes. Yes. Bowendal, right I want you to come in over oh, here. Oh, and Tungdil in the oh, middle with his sweeping. Should. Alright. <laughs> Jump back yes. in here, Tungdil. Oh, man. Get ready for another sweep. There we go. We Excellent. Come on, come on. Kill that guy. Kill yes. that guy. On my way. Drop the axe, go and deal. Do a little flurry there, buddy. All right, let's get another sweep in. Excellent. Come on, finish this guy off. Come on. All right, drop the axe. Uh, let's dive. Oh, what did I miss? Damn it. Whoa, that's what I missed. There's a lot more of them coming. Okay. What is it? Um. Jeez. Okay, let's help Bowen deal out of that situation first. Attack! All right. Uh, let's sweep again. Oh man. Let's pop that. Boeing deal. Let's uh, dive in here. Help. Jeez. All right. Drop the axe. All right. Boeing deal. Let's hop over here. Tung deal. Um. Bowen Deal might should be able to jump out of that before that goes down. Come on. Yeah, excellent. Oh boy. Let's sweep again, get the three of them. Bowen Doll, let's drop your axe. Uh let's hurt three of them. Yep. 
And let's dive in here as well. Should get a decent shot. Oh, oof. You know, let's pop this instead. All right. All right, all right. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, Tungdil, let's see. If we drop the axe... Let's drop it on this guy. Let's... No, actually, no. Let's just kill him regularly. Bowen Dahl, let's drop the axe here. Hurt a few more of them. And let's pop that ability again. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. I love that ability. Ooh. All right, let's... Do a nice little... Ooh, that'll hit Bowen Doll pretty hard. Oh, they're all so close. Okay. Huh? Bowen Deal, let's dive you onto this side. What Bowen Doll, let's... Uh, oh, try and push you up you there. Like and then as soon as I can, I'm going to sweep here. And that should help, because Bowen Deal is going to jump. So you know what? I can probably give that order right now. Let's see how that plays out. Nice. Okay. Okay. Um, now what? Bowen Dahl, let's drop the axe over here. Spread that damage out. Pop that ability again. Tungdil, let's sweep here. Oh, look at the blood. Alright. Excellent. Alright, Bowen Dahl. Uh, drop the axe here. What? I don't get it. Sometimes it lets a guy die and move his, moves us on. Sometimes it just doesn't. All right, we've got this. It feels like every engagement I die at least once now. <laughs> Maybe I should tone down the difficulty. Because hard... Hard is hard. Hard is not easy. All right. Bowen deal again. Same... Yeah. Same setup, I just need to pay more attention. All right. Understood. Let's go. Huh? What is it? All right. We got this. Yes. Tung Dil, get ready to sweep. Yes. Say Let's charge you up there. Let's charge. Dive you up here, and Tung Dil, get ready to sweep. There we go. Dive up here. Let's, uh, let's actually drop the axe down here. Try and kill that guy as quickly as possible. And Tung Dil, you actually dive in there. All right, come on. Excellent. Drop the axe. Excellent. Come on, dive on him. There we go. Okay, let's pause again. Bowen Deal, how you doing? Let's pop that ability there. Let's get you up here. Bowen Dahl, drop the axe. Alright. Excellent, excellent. Tung Dil, buddy. Come on. Focus here. Let's pop that ability again. Actually, no, let's dive in here. Alright. We could knock some of them down. Ooh, that's what I missed last time. Okay. Bury some of them. Yes. I guess. Um, well, let's do that first. Bowen Doll. How much of a difference does that actually make? Oh, okay. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, so Bowen Deal. Uh, Tom Deal. Try and get that pillar down. All right. Come on. Can we get to it even? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right. Bone Dull. Let's pop your axe. Bone Deal. Let's dive you over here for some assistance. All right. That. Right. Let's pop the healing potion. And as soon as we can sweep, we'll sweep. We'll get a lot of them over here. Bowen Doll, come on. Let's pop that, and let's pop that. Excellent. Right, let's blow them away. Excellent. Say goodbye forever. Excellent. Oh, that does cause a lot of, a lot, a lot of damage. All right, let's pop that again, and let's sweep again as well. Come on, I, wanna, I need to get that. There we go. Let's get out of there. The side door in the workshop. It's our only chance. Oh crap! Okay. Oh, bowing deal. Get you there. 
Bone Doll and Tungdil. Let's clear a path, buddy. Alright. Keep going, keep going. Oh, Jesus. Bone Dill, one more jump. Tongue Dill, I need you to keep pushing through, man. Clear a path. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of my way. Bowen Deal, get up there. Tung Deal, get up there. Bowen Dahl. Come on, man. Alright. Oh, they're eating. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Okay, Bowen Dahl. I've got a charge already. The cleave is so helpful in clearing out a bunch of them. So, you know, what? I might get cleave. Yeah, let's go with cleave. Invincible. Might. I need those uh, healing buffs. All right, found a pearl. Great. Don't know where I found it, but I'll take it. And some food. Okay, yeah. Gotta keep an eye out on, uh, on the pillars and stuff. Things like that, like environmental damage and whatnot. Damn. The first twenty are mine. You have come far, um, but this is far enough. Give me the artifacts and the books you stole in Greenglade, and I'll set you free. Ah, uh, let's see. What did you do with them? I already know what you did with them. Uh, what's so special? What's with the artifacts and the books? They belong to me. Lotionan was supposed to bring them to Forrester, but forgot them. So, I came to pick them up. That's all you need to know. Uh huh. I feel like this is just start the fight, so what did you do with the other Magi? What have you done to the other Magi? Your Famulus told us some cock and bull <laughs> story about you forcing them and their Famuli to go to Parista and then murdering them. That's the truth, isn't I it? I did what had to be done to protect mm. Girdlegard. I wish there had been another way. But they would never have understood. Do your eyes deceive you, or do you really see a brief moment of real regret on the swollen face of the Magus? Interesting. <sighs> Is this going to be like orcs versus the Parish Land? That's what's going to save Girdlegard? You wanting my rucksack is enough reason for me not to give it to you. I don't need your consent. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, this action does not have my consent. Look the rucksack. If you lose it, you will also lose your life. Go back to your realm, dwarves, and let your king know that I need his land. Either he hands it over without a drop of blood being spilt, or my troops and allies take it by force. You can take this one with you. I have no use for him. Oh. Whoa! Invisible wizard, Maya! Look! Oh, jeez. Let me handle her. Kill the dwarves. Whoa, okay. Um. We're gonna die, aren't we? Okay, alright, alright. We've got the Swall Elixir of Protection. Let's drop that on Tungdil. Boindil, we could give you... A flawless pearl. I wonder if that would help. Uh, reducing damage received. That's not bad. Um, and Bowen Doll gets to keep this, I suppose. One extra action point. No, you know what? The extra action point was really helpful for Bowen Deal. And Bowen Doll. Yeah, the Talisman of Healing. Okay, let's see how this goes down. Let's see how this goes down. I kind of wonder if no. Okay, <laughs> it's gonna be madness. All right. The, the rucksack, the artifact. If he wants them so badly, they might be the key to his destruction. There's the orc with the rucksack. Let's get him. 
Okay, so Rucksack recovered. We're just chasing him down. Alright, Tungdil. Uh, you can charge through. And what now? And Bowendil, you can dive. Yes. <laughs> but when Dahl, he can only blow people away. Alright. Come on, go, 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 go. Bowendil, why didn't you jump? What is it? Yes. Tungdil, let's push through again. Where's the guy with the rucksack? There he is. So wait, Bowendil instead, jump that way, okay. Yes. And Bowendal, I'm gonna wait a second and then maybe cleave, actually. Oh. Can't jump. Come on. Whoa, Bone Deal is already dying here. Dive in there. Bone Deal. Oh, Bone Deal. No, I'm getting confused here. Okay. Kind of wish I had charge right now. Uh, let's sleep here. That should be safe. Get ready to drop the axe as well. Uh, let's pop this. We'll pop it afterwards. Get out of there. Okay. Um, cleave and tongue dill. Let's kill this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Some action points here. Okay. Bowen deal, you're right there, buddy. Yes, yes, What is it? Oh man. This is a rough spot. Come on, come on. Oh. Huh? Huh? Alright, let's uh let's cleave. Huh? Bone deal, come on, man. Alright, let's dive again right into him. Oh boy. I'm gonna try another cleave here as soon as Tungdil's able to. Come on. Go, go, go. Oh, that's so frustrating. Man. Alright, this is an interesting situation. I'm hoping getting the rucksack will kill the fight because otherwise. Uh, I don't know if I stand much of a chance. I really need another, like, healing potion. You know what? Let's get this Talisman of Healing on Bowendil instead. And let's give Tungdil um, the Elixir of Protection, and Bowendal can get the Elixir of Strength. That might be a better spread. All right. The, the rucksack! Yep, there's the orc! All right, all right. So we're going to charge through. What is it? We're going to dive out. Let's just dive up to here. I feel like I was blocked by the... What is it? Mr. Ugly Face here. All right, and we're going to cleave as well. Actually, let's pop the potion first, and then we'll cleave. All right. Okay. I'll be ready soon. Ah, Bone Deal didn't get out. There we go. All right. Now we can cleave. Let's get a good hit there. Chung Dil, dive Please once more. Moment. I want to intercept him. Go, 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 go. Okay. And now you dive up there. Let's get another cleave going here. There we go. Let's get hit. Nice. Get out of there, get out of there. Actually, wait, wait, we've got the potion still running. Let's get some damage in. Alright. I want to keep an eye on, on him. I want to drop an axe as soon as I can. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Beauty. Okay, what's going on with... Oh, boy. All right, let's get to the periphery here and try and get out. Let's get another cleave, and let's try and get out and help this situation here. All right. Just go this way. Oh, man. Right, go, 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 go. Drawing aggro. Oh, man. Bowen deal. Alright, that's helping. Keep giving chase, Tongue Deal. Can't let him get away. Alright, let's get another cleave down. Actually, let's pop the potion. And let's get another cleave down. 
Get out, get out. They cheated. Oh, did he get away? Is that why? That... what? Alright, let's get all three of the dwarfs on him then. Damn, that's annoying. Alright, I think, again, so let's get, uh... Let's get Bowen Dahl with the Elixir of Strength. Let's get Bowen Deal with the Initiative. Actually, no, the Healing, and then... Tungdil can have protection. Alright. The, the okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. Let's dive in this way. I want to cut him off. Huh? Dive that way. Huh? And then you pop your strength potion. And then we'll cleave as soon as we can. Right? There we go. There we go. Let's get a couple kills here. Alright, what's going on? Where is. Ooh, he's getting away. And what now? Cut him off. Alright. Get another cleave in there. And then dive. Dive in. Let's get this guy killed. Go. Excellent! Now what? Now what? Because I'm dying. Let's get out of here. Over the Okay. Come on. I'm gonna... Cross the bridge. Bow and deal. Can't quite see. There we go. Get as far as you can. What is it? And you. Oh, let's get a cleave there. That should clear up the space. Alright. Bow and doll go. Yes. Tung deal continue to push this way and. Right, well... I'm not back, quick. Dive there. Yes, keep yes. going, keep going, keep going. Alright. Uh, just keep running, just keep running. There we go. Come on, come on. Tongue deal, keep crossing, buddy. And Boeing deal, keep crossing. Alright. Oh man, Bowen Doll's gonna have a struggle getting up there. Go, 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 go. If anything, I need another cleave. You've got this, man. You've got this. Come on. Go, go. Fight through the pain. Say goodbye forever. What bad luck for you. Whoa. Okay. What's going on? Must be any enemies close. Okay. Huh? Let's pop what that and let's get another cleave. On my way. End it. What is it? Are these guys. That's the last guy that's alive, I think. Yes. All right. Oh man, that took let's a few too many here. tries. Yeah, let's get Retreat. out of here. We should fight. No. <laughs> we would die. Perhaps you've noticed that Nodon has risen again, headless. He is more powerful he's headless. than the Perish Land itself, but the key to his destruction is in here. We will return to the Secondlings and tell them what the Magus is up to. We'll be safe at Ogre's death, and there we can hatch a plan. If we manage to get there, Nod On will do anything to stop us. Why are we standing here and talking? Then let him try! Let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Bowen Deal's leveled up, Tung Deal's leveled up. Nice, nice, nice. Oink, oink. Regains a bit of health and attracts the attention of enemies. That's interesting. That's interesting indeed. Very different set of uh, abilities with Boin Deal. Wait, did I not get it? I guess it auto picked it. Okay, a defense bonus or a damage boost? Um, you know, he takes a lot of damage very easily. What else have we got? Nearby heroes deal extra damage. Twice the AP when he kills enemies, or might, or ultimately might. Uh, let's go with the defense bonus, because it looks like we have some attack bonuses coming up anyway, so defense bonus it is. I do take a lot of damage as Tungdil. All All right, lots of money, a couple of provisions. It'll last me a little bit longer, which is nice. But oh boy, that was a rough session. Maybe I should lower the difficulty. 
It's kind of fun playing on hard, though. I love the challenge, but... Uh, Alright, where are we headed next? Ooh, nice new area has been opened up. We're gonna push through Sangpur here. And head towards uh, Ogre's Death. I guess we'll... I guess we'll be exploring, exploring, sorry, quite a bit of, uh, of this map then. Yeah, I see this has all been closed off. And now instead we're headed this way. Cool, interesting. Interesting indeed. But for now, this is where I'm going to call it a session. Thank you guys very much for joining me in a session of a uh, couple of revelations. Some that I think were pretty predictable, but others that, uh, well, they put us in some tough situations, let's just say. I, uh, need to get a little bit better at managing the damage output and uh, and those potions. I need some more health potions for sure. These are orc cords, aren't they? Hmm. All right, we'll have to strategize how to avoid these. I don't want to get into any fights. Ideally, some of these small little villages here have some potions that I can buy on my way over to Ogre's Death, but that will all have to happen next session. Again, I'm trying to keep these a bit more bite-sized. Again, thank you very much for joining me. It's always an absolute pleasure. And if you did enjoy, please drop a like and a comment. Let's me know, keeps me going. Uh, let's me know that I should be, you know, recording and uploading these for you guys to watch and, and enjoy this uh, story here. But apart from that, I will catch you guys next time. Till then, cheers.